Once ranked as the region's largest cement manufacturer with operations in Kenya and Uganda, the East African Portland Cement Company, EAPCC, is now a shadow of its former self. Production has dropped by half, debts are piling up, and the cement manufacturer now says it needs between 10 and 15 billion shillings to stay afloat. A cement company is not just like a small um, operation. We need that money to address the plant itself, the factory. We need that money to pay the creditors. We would like to reduce our debt to the minimum. With a government bailout off the table and seemingly running out of options, the company's leadership is now banking on proceeds from selling a fraction of its 16,000-acre piece of land in Adi River. However, it appears this option may not be the easiest for the company to pursue, as part of the land has already been encroached by invaders and a similar proposal to sell it in 2010 was shot down by parliament. We have to get permission from the shareholders, particularly consent from the government to sell that land. We have gone to the extent of preparing the necessary document for the cabinet uh, to consider that, and we are waiting for them to give a, an okay. The company also requires an additional 2 billion shillings to refurbish its manufacturing plant, which was last renovated about 22 years ago. 4.5 billion shillings will go to KCB, and there is an amount of 1 billion shillings to JICA. This is the Japanese International Corporation, uh, uh, which, was, which was borrowed some, 20, some 18 years ago. There is a lot that we really need for this company, but we are saying for, to kick us off, to jumpstart the process, anything less than 10 billion shillings would actually be of no use for us. Swiss cement maker Lafarge Olsim Group remains EAPCC's largest shareholder at 41.8%, followed by the National Social Security Fund, which controls a 27% stake, and the National Treasury at 25.3%. Victor Kiprop, NTV Business.